there are two conditions for a body to have an static equilibrium condition so first condition for equilibrium is the vector sum of all external forces acting on the body must be zero so this is given by this equation here summation f is equal to zero so let me illustrate this concept in this example right here we have so many forces acting on this system suppose this is two meter long uh, rod this all total length is two meter suppose if one force is acting upward which is 10 newton which is acting in positive x-axis and the two forces are acting downward 5 newton right here and 5 newton here okay so let me get the sum of all the forces here sum of all the forces which is summation of f is equal to pi 10 newton which is positive because acting upward right and another one 5 newton this one is downward so it's acting negative y-axis that's why this is negative pi and uh, this force is also acting along negative y-axis so 5 newton so what is sum sum is 10 minus 10 this gives you zero so right now this system here is in equilibrium condition okay the sum of all the forces acting on this particular system is equal to zero that's why this system is in a static equilibrium conditions that is just satisfying the first static condition okay that's only one static condition so the second condition pro static equilibrium is the sum of external torques acting on the system acting on the body about a, an axis should be zero okay look at this second example here in this case the tau here is the torque what is torque torque is product of the distance from the axis of rotation to the force acting and the force what is this r for example this is an object and this object is rotating about this axis suppose z axis right it is uh, going around this one like this that we call axis of rotation this one okay so the r the distance from this point axis of rotation to the this is the perpendicular distance from here to this point where force is acting suppose that force is acting in this direction so this is r and this is force okay so this torque tau said to be tau this this is this looks like t but this is tau tau summation tau should be zero sum of all the turning forces tau should be zero so let's look at this problem this example so this one is all total four meter four meter long rod and there are two torques trying to rotate this one and this one is axis of rotation here right this is axis of rotation about which this particle this is this object can rotate okay if this is the case then what are the forces acting here one force here is 2 newton trying to rotate in this direction that is clockwise clockwise right the another force this one is same force but try to rotate in this direction that is anti-clockwise okay so this direction is anti-clockwise let me write down very clear so that you can understand everything so this is axis and this is trying to rotate clockwise and this one is trying to rotate anti-clockwise 
anticlockwise, right? So if this is the case, we have to find the total torque, whether it is zero or not. If it is zero, the sum of all the torque is equal to zero, then we can say this system is in equilibrium. Let me find it out. So this clock, anticlockwise torque here is uh, R, which is distance from here to this point, multiplied by the force. Look at here. This one is, this is anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise tau. R cross F. This is 2 meter multiplied by 2 newton. Okay. This is 4 meter newton. Similarly, you can calculate the torque because of this one. And that is called clockwise clockwise torque and the clockwise torque here is also r cross f i am representing with same symbols it doesn't matter it's a distance from here to here this point to this point and that is also two meter and multiplied by f f is two newton right exactly four meter newton what you observe here is tau left is equal to tau right so that means tau left minus tau right is equal to zero that gives you sum of the total torque acting in this system is zero so this is second condition for equilibrium if these two conditions satisfied well only then we can say this system is in static equilibrium remember this word static equilibrium okay otherwise system is not in eco static equilibrium if system is system failed to have one of these equilibrium conditions then object is not in static equilibrium okay so these are very important concepts uh, to, uh, to be understood and to apply when doing numerical problems in physics so this one and this one